I have POTS, otherwise known as postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Basically means my brain doesn't understand how to operate my heart very well, so sometimes it goes too fast. For a lot of people with POTS, it's not super debilitating. Um, medication can usually correct. My POTS presented um, when I was previously completely able-bodied. I grew up in an athletic family. I was a junior Olympic alpine skier. Um, and so I was used to having complete control over my body. Then I got COVID in 2021 at a speech tournament, ironically, and ended up developing POTS as a result. And for a long time, they didn't know what was wrong with me. A lot of doctors misdiagnosed me with anxiety, said there was other things that I had to work on, even though I'd already received an anxiety diagnosis and was working on treatment for that. After finally seeing a female doctor, I was diagnosed with POTS. And unfortunately, after going through about a year of treatment, they decided that my POTS was treatment resistant and the medication wasn't working. But because it's a rather new illness in terms of how many people have gotten it, there aren't very many options moving forward. So once you ran out of medication options, the doctors were just like, eh, we don't really know where to go from here. So I saw that a service dog. I saw someone on Reddit who had POTS mentioned that they'd gotten a service dog and it had changed everything. And I figured since I'm going to law school in the fall, I should probably get on it, figure out how to manage my symptoms so I can continue to get through school, achieve all the things I want to achieve without letting my pops hold me back. And this is the first time I've gone more than a week without passing out since I've been diagnosed, which is the craziest experience. Um, she alerted me the second day I had her, which was the last time I passed out. So even during training, it's been life changing. And I'm incredibly excited for Chloe to get her Juris doctorate. Hold on a second.